Welcome to our tutorial about the rib tool. Let's begin with a new part document. Now I'm going to activate the line tool. And I'll create a profile. Almost done. Right click and close. Let's exit our sketch. Activate the extrude command. Our profile is pre-selected. I'll create a 1-inch extrusion in both directions. Click OK. OK, now let's create our rib profile. Let's right-click on the XY plane and select New Sketch. Activate the Line command. And I'll place my line about here. It doesn't have to intersect with the solid profile, but the extension of the line has to intersect, or Inventor won't be able to solve the rib. Right click, done. Exit the sketch. And let's activate the rib command. My profile is pre selected. At the left of this dialog window, we've got two options for creating the rib normal to the sketch plane or parallel to the sketch plane. Let's start with the parallel to sketch plane option. Here's our preview of the rib. Click this button to enable or disable the preview. Up here we use these buttons to specify the thickness on the left side, right side, or both sides. Beneath are two additional options, Two Next and Finite. As you saw, the Two Next option extended the rib along this face, whereas the Finite option created a rib just along the profile we selected. Let's try the Normal to Sketch Plane option now. Increase the rib thickness to 0.5. Here we can use Direction 1 or Direction 2. If I uncheck Extend Profile, my preview disappears, and that means Inventor was unable to calculate the rib. Let's check Extend Profile again, and my preview reappears. When done, let's click OK. OK, let's edit the sketch for our rib. Just double-click on Sketch 2 under Rib 1. Let's activate the Line tool. And I'll make my modifications here. Right click and restart. Let's do something similar down here. Now right click and done. Let's exit the sketch. And double click on rib 1. Let's click profile. You'll be able to select a profile through the solid, or you can simply disable the preview. That'll make it a bit easier. OK. And once again, as a reminder, the extension of the rib sketch has to intersect with a solid, otherwise Inventor won't be able to calculate your rib. And this concludes our basic overview of the rib command.